now known as copy the light on all platforms yes if it's the first time stopping by you're most definitely welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to my channel today's video as you can see from the thumbnail is my makeup tutorial see you guys in the beat bye so guys i'm back and this is my face so the first thing i do is to moisturize my lip as you guys can see it's quite moisturized now i know and this is what i use just in case you want to see closer this is what i use for my lip so it's the vaseline lip therapy and i use a rosy tinted because it has this pink whatever to it and yeah that's just the first one then i'm going with hyaluronic acid if you guys don't know about hyaluronic acid read about it basically it literally helps keep you hydrated like it's a very good um formula to get that hydrating glass skin vibes so i just put it into my skin kind of vibe so i just rub slightly then just tap into my skin like so as you guys can see my skin is looking a little bit hydrated now like it makes more sense then i go in with this simple um moisturizer so it's a replenishing rich moisturizer i like to use any product that has a lot of niacinamide because i feel like it just does well for like acne prone skin and stuff like that i just take a little bit right there rub it in and this time i'm just kind of pressing it into my skin so so i just press it into my skin that way let's see what it looks like and as you guys can see my skin is already glowing like it already has that glowy vibe to it and if i was going out i'll go on top a sunscreen so the sunscreen i use is this one the bondi sand or bondi sands i don't know how to say it, but I use this one on my skin however i'm not going out right now so i don't really see the point of using it um then this is the primer i use i use the elf hydrating primer or sometimes i go in with the rimmel london fix and protect basically my makeup products are kind of drugstore because i'm not that rich yet to be buying like 50 pounds 35 pounds primer i know it's good to invest in your makeup product but that's just not where i'm at right now so take your time like who says you can't get like a flawless makeup look with affordable makeup like i don't know where you got that idea from or where people got that idea from but that's a lie so that's what we're looking like all right now yeah so i'll just let this to dry a little bit and i'll be back and now my face is kind of like dry from the products i use so basically i either use this foundation i'm just going to show you guys one by one so this is the foundation i use so it's a rimmel london and i use the shade 503 mocha now i also got this foundation which is also rimmel london and each of them are like i think 10 pounds so it's it's not bad and 10 pounds like 10,000 naira, which is high in the naira aspect but for like pounds it's not bad at all and i use this one so one has the red cover which is this one and i use the shade 510 cinnamon and 503 mocha sometimes i just use this alone but this is lightweight however it's really lightweight but if you want a full coverage i'll advise you go for this one yes so i'm going to mix the both of them together and just let you guys see what they look like i go in with this thing so it's a vitamin e hydrating mist from super drug if you guys need a closer look that's what it looks like so basically i just take this yeah and spray it on my face before i blend out 
my foundation with a brush I blend with a brush not a foam because I feel like foam just absorbs all the product and it makes no sense to me so we're just going to close your eyes slightly don't squeeze your eyes you're not fighting but you just close your eyes and and that's it if you don't have a fan look for something to blow yourself but I do have a fan here so I'm just going to fan that for a bit just so that it gets a little tacky and not watery I hardly put foundation on my forehead because I'm going to contour and highlight so I don't want it to be too, doing too much I may put it on my cheeks and you guys should just see how I blend it out basically I don't put it under my eyes like that's something that I would say so I feel like now it's a little bit dry I'm going to go out and blend it so now that the foundation is done i'm going to go in and slick my brows so basically give myself the you know the trend the soap brows i don't know why it's called soap brows honestly but <laughs> i'm just going to go in and just slick my brows for you guys to see so i use the elf brow lift i'm supposed to be an ambassador for elf at this point because everything i have is just elf 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 this brow pencil is also elf like everything just screams elf like I don't know why but i feel like they have affordable products that still do the job so like why not so i just put a little bit on my on the back of my palm and go in this way in the upward motion one thing that this kind of brows does like sticking your brow up is it gives you the full brow look so now as you guys can see my brow looks full and it looks done and it's not done so I'm just going to fill out the bald spots and that's how I get my brows look good so I'm gonna use this I don't know if you guys can see I'll put a picture in this video so you guys can see all the product clearly that's something I'm going to do with the editing um, so it's a brow pen basically so it just gives you the light hair strokes rather than using a brow pen so I just going against the point of getting your brows in the soap way i don't know how, i don't know why it's called the soap brows but yeah so i'm just going to give light strokes going upward just watch me it's hard to talk while doing your makeup tutorial so just bear in mind So you guys can see that part of my brows is kind of like filled in already yes so I'm just going to stick it in the front and that's the brows done I'm just going to blend my foundation in because I kind of used my hands to mess it up so now as you guys can see the difference there's, there's a very very clear difference in the brows because I just filled in the spots that are like bold so we're just going to go into this part where I think you guys can see more clearly honestly so yeah and the upward motion and with this brow pen try not to press it down because it's just going to go against the point of giving it light strokes now this other side is done and that's how brows feel then if you don't like the soap brows you can actually just go in with your brow pencil instead that's that's not a bad idea and yeah okay next thing is i'm going to conceal my brows but i'm just going to take a quick break because yeah see ya you guys the worst thing literally just happened to me i'm going to insert a clip of this but i was recording and because normally i have a mirror in front of my camera or my phone when i'm recording because i'm using my back camera but this time i did not 
and I've been recording and literally my face has been cut off and I'm so angry <laughs> because I cannot do the concealer again to show you guys what I did basically ah oh, oh my god but basically oh this is so annoying but I have to just keep going this is the concealer I used and what I did I'm just going to demonstrate because I can't do another round of concealer on my face it's just going to mess up the routine I go in here 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 and here and here and on my nose I was still inside the clip so you guys can see what I was talking about because the devil is trying me then I spray the vitamin hydrating mist on this brush and I go in in this motion I'm going to show you guys here because I can't do my under eye again I go in in this motion dabbing 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 and I also also just think then that you have to do your side to get the <laughs> to get the inside or the inner corner yeah yeah I'm going to show you guys because it's creasing for whatever reason known Yeah, you have to do your face like that and look up. That's how to get the perfect blend. But anyway, that happened. So, sorry guys. I was still going to set the clip if you guys can learn anything from that. Then I go in with the revolution contour palette. Contour, con. So someone to open. Okay, yeah, this is what it looks like. <laughs> and it's in the shade dark. If you want to buy it dark, this is literally like I think five pounds. Hey, I'm putting you guys on. Yeah, I'm going to go in with the last two darkest shade. And my light just went out for whatever reason. But we're going to finish this. See, today everything is just happening. But today, procrastination. I rebuke. I'm going to finish this video. I'm going to use the Sango for natural lighting. But if you guys see a difference, you know why. So, cream, cream contour. I'm going to go in that way. Not way. Not funny. You guys can see you. You guys can see you what I am doing. I'm gonna do something else and see I'm not gonna talk to you. I did not teach you that one. No. But yeah. So we're going to you're going to drag your contour upwards. Don't drag it down because you're just gonna be I don't know what you're gonna be doing to your face, but you need to drag your contour up so like this. You guys can see I'm going like this. That way you're dragging it into your cheekbone. Yeah. So contour done. First side. We're going to do the second side. Upward, upward motion. Upward ever, backward never. That's what you should be thinking about when you're doing your contour. Upward ever, backward never. May we not go backward in Jesus' name. Say amen. Amen. <laughs> but yeah. In the upward motion, that's how we do it. Upward, upward motion, upward motion, upward motion, upward motion, upward motion, upward motion. And the best way to know where to contour your face is do like this. Can you see that's why I contoured? Some people used to do contour on that chin. Me, I know used to do it too, but we'll do it today in this video. Because I know I just don't know what it does to your face, but we'll do it today. Let's do it today. <laughs> Let's just do it today. She's only today, oh. And if my makeup is not that bad, you people are gonna blame it on this contour. Because I've never done my contour like this before. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So if it turns out rubbish, you know why. It's not me. They were going in with this angled brush. Blah. We're going to contour our nose. Contour our nose. Yeah, like that. Just, just follow what I'm doing. You see, like this. Contour. And honestly, I would say the best products to use to contour and highlight your face should be cream products. I 
and when I mean cream products, I mean products like this, not watery ones. I've that's something that I just use recently. <laughs> that's something I just recently learned. But yeah, I'm gonna contour her face. Hey, enemies. Drag the contour down. Drag it down. Blend it into your brows up here. Like that. That is, that is. Then you're gonna do on the. What's this thing called? I don't know. But this place. <laughs> I'm gonna do it here. Well, that's how I know how to contour my own. I don't know how they should do their own robots. This is just trying to follow me because I know road. So the contour is in place. You guys can't see. Is it giving? It's giving. I know. <laughs> I'm so excited, guys, because makeup is so now nice. Go ahead and use your blush now. So basically highlight, contour your blush. Yeah. And what I do is, I've actually not checked what my forehead looks like, but that can be blended out. Yes, I'm going to contour my forehead. I just remember. You see, yeah, even the best of the best of the best makeup people forget some time, forget their routine. We are not robots and you'll be remembering every step. So sometimes you forget. But don't beat yourself up it's not that deep it's just forgetting so yeah i'm gonna contour my forehead like i said which is why i said i did not put foundation because there's no point really 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 of me putting foundation if i'm gonna come and do contour 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 yeah see she can easy peasy hmm. i'm going to do our this thing back I'm an Alaja. I'm not actually. Don't let me don't let me say that before you start making fun now. Because you people on this internet can do a lot. Please, it was a joke. I'm not an Alaja. I'm just joking. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go in with this. Hmm. I use lipstick to blush my my cheeks. Normally, people use blush, actual blush. Yeah. But me, I don't have money right now. I, I am not. I have things I'm saving up for. So. Buying a blush is not my problem right now, so yeah, I use my lipstick. Lipstick, use it. It's not it's gonna happen. Your makeup will turn out well. Your skin will not damage. I'm a product of it. Use any reddish lipstick. Anyway, for black skin or dark skin, using a red slash orange blush is the way. That's what you have to do. So I take this. You have to do it fast because it dries up because it's lipstick. Take a round brush. Now, do like this. Smile, smile the camera. Cheese. Then you go in on top. So you blush on top your contour. That is <laughs> see rhymes. Anyway, yeah. Let me not talk to them before it's even dry. Now, now we look like you know that clown, clown. Abby, what would I call it? So yeah, you're dabbing it on top, on top your. No, sorry guys, I have to go and open the door. Break in transmission, the bell is ringing. See you. So guys, I'm back. Yes, now time to continue our routine. And as you guys can see, I've done the blush on this side. So I'm going to do the same thing I did on this side. So in this motion, dabbing, dabbing it into the skin, into the skin. My light keeps dying. I don't understand though. Oh, and most times I take it at the tip of the nose because I don't know what it does, but it does something. So yeah, my blush is done. <laughs> you guys can't you see that we are looking, you know, scrumbly yum yum up up. But yeah, so blend. The contour into it again like so and we have the contour and the what's it called blush together so we're going to go into this cream product again that i showed you guys and we're going to try to highlight our face now so this one is going to be highlighting 
I've already highlighted my face, but I'm just going to go in to achieve that bright inner corner eye. So yeah. Like so. I'm not going to leave this alone because it can get messy. So now I'm going to go in with a sponge and it's damp. I'm going to blend this. Hey, mess up. You guys, it's messing, it's messing the routine up. Because I think it's too damp. So rather I'm going to use the same brush I used earlier. I cannot afford to mess everything I've done on my hard work to just go like that. Can't happen now. So yeah, that is blended out. I think the um the beauty blender is that's the name rather than foam <laughs> the beauty blender is is too damp so that's something you should know if your beauty blender is too damp it's just going to cause a mess so you have to blend this very well before setting your face because that way i don't know what's going on with my face honestly but it's stressing me out Even the best of the best people have some days that the makeup is just not given. It's rare with them, but it happens. So, right, let's hope that today is not that day for me because all this thing will just go to waste. So, let's hope I'm brave. But, yeah, that is done. I'm blending out my blush again. So, We've done that. Um, what again? What's the next step, guys? What's the next step, guys? So I oh, <laughs> so oh my Jesus. So I'm going to go in with this. I swear I don't know the name. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I've forgotten the name. And yeah, I'll show you guys the setting palette I use. It's Revolution. It's this one right here. Take a picture. And it's in the shade Banana. So, I'm going to take it, dust it off my hand like this before I set my face. And we're going to press in So press it in. You guys can see the difference. The difference is there. Do the same thing for this side. Press it in. I'm going to do it on my nose because I highlighted my nose and on my forehead because I highlighted my forehead and right there. So guys, you're literally just dabbing it in don't drag just slightly press it into your skin like so and yeah 
that's that's basically it. That's it. And I'm going to dip in my contour because I feel like it's looking more reddish. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade 375. It's really dark. I'm just going to take a little bit and dip in my contour. Basically. I want it darker than what it is. So that's me making my contour deeper. Just making it deeper. And the next thing I will do is go in with my exact shade of powder. And this is the Zaron, it's a Nigerian brand. So that's the way that I've had this product since I came to the UK since 2022. Nothing's happening. So I'm just going to put it here because it's my actual shade. So it, it just helps me um, create a lighter color under my. It basically almost everywhere. I'm putting it on my brows. Basically almost everywhere actually. It helps you just blend out your whole face. And I'm going to go in with this palette. It's a Nigerian brand again. I'm going to be using the orange shade kind of to dip in my blush. Like I said, orange and pink are like the best shade for a black person. So yeah. Is it dipping? Then I'm also going to just give my my eyelid like a brown transition. So I'm using these two shades right here, this one and this one. So like an orange and brown vibe, just on my eyelid, just you know. So that way I close my eyes <laughs> and I'm taking a picture. It will look nice. It will not look. I'm not part of the routine, you know that kind of vibe. Yeah. It's giving. face first of all you know i'll be back i'm just going to get some things together and be back the next thing i'm going to do because i'm trying to not make this too long is use the nyx pencil in the shade espresso um so yeah
and we've come to the end of today's video i hope you liked it i hope you learned something new and this is my makeup tutorial this is the final look i absolutely love it yeah it just looks warm nice and make sure you always do what works for you but sometimes just learn tips here and there to help your makeup look better and see you guys on my next one don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the post notifications so you're aware when i drop a new video see you on my next one bye